Oh gosh, whatever. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Welcome to Best of 2024 Watch, where we play the latest games in search of the greatest games of the year. Today we're heading into the Cosmic Womb or whatever of Ultros. I'm not really sure what this game is. It's a psychedelic Metroidvania. Uh, we're also going to be playing a bunch of other indie games, including Hellskate and Liz Fanga. Well, Liz Fanga, uh, God, are they owned by Quantic Dream? I don't know if it's an indie game, technically. It's more game roulette than indie roulette, but whatever. We're here. We're hanging out. Um, full disclosure, this game is a Kepler Interactive published question mark game. Um, and I work with Jenny... Wyndham, who works for Kepler. I work with her on my podcast, um, The Indie Council. So there's my disclosure. Um, yeah, anyway. So, yeah, here's Ultros. Uh, it's second of the again. The feel is a little better than I thought it'd be, but it, it is kind of, like, slow. But it doesn't feel, like, terrible or anything. It feels better than I felt like it looked. A slide right away. Okay. The PC settings did indeed need to be fussed with quite a bit. So there was that. And I still feel a little... It sounds dramatic to say nauseated, but the foreground background is a little rough on the eye. It's a little overwhelming. I think them having these all black shadowed um, platforms was a very good choice because it helps break up the visuals a bit. Um, again, we're just starting from scratch. I'm just sussing things out. Can I attack? Can I hit this? Do I want to hit this? Nothing really comes up, so we're just going to keep moving along. Uh, let me know in the chat if you've played Ultros, if you're going to play Ultros, what you're playing this week. Whatever you got going on. Okay, I took this sword. Unrest Tanto. Um, a short sword of relatively low echelon plucked from a fallen corpse. The Tanto kneels. A rhythmic hum. Be patient, but never deal with hesitation. The rumble is rumbling quite a bit. HD rumble energy in this. We got this little guy. Oh, the light for the sake of Marduk's eye. Damn, that thing hurts. Huh. You there. Can you hear me? Great. An audience of one. Behold, the umpteenth failed attempt to make a grand escape from this sarcophagus. Let's push my hair back a little bit. I know what needs to be done, but the messed up continuum around here? Never mind, listen, I'll need your help. Just give me a moment to get my head straight. Meet me up ahead, I'll show you, okay? I'll explain everything. A very unceremonious start where it's just like, hey, you're here, you're in the world. Get with it. Yeah, the vibrations are, I think, a little over the top, if I'm being honest. And then they want me to attack. Maybe I have to attack this thing? I do like the... You have, like, a different kind of... Oh, here's this. Here's something. That that thing. Okay, yes. Can I go... Can I attack this from below? No. They do have a, like, up and, like, a down and all that, which is kind of cool for, like, the slashing. Um... Okay. See, I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I can't... Oh, eat. I don't know what that does. I like that I can do that. It's fucked up and weird. Okay, so you have, like, almost, like, that freaking Samus's, like... What do they call that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. She, like, spins, and it's, like... It's, like, whoa, you're attacking now. This is when you jump and hit square. Let me know in the chat if you remember what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, she's like in her little ball. You know how Samus is. And I guess I just kill this. Some attacks can be countered. Use a slide to slide through. Okay, so Prince of Persia. The screw attack. Thank you. Yes. Triangle to react. So we want to slide. Okay. I do like the counter kind of situation. I think it's fun. Adds, like, a little layer. The cerebral part of pom-pom, due to the violent laceration of the extreme membrane, is rendered lifeless. The has lost some of its potency. 
Do the sloppy execution of the beast. Ah, okay, so we want to kill things maybe in a certain way. I actually am curious about some of the accessibility stuff because I do find this to be like just a like a bit much. And I think I want to mess with it. You know what? Let's let's play for a little bit longer and then we're going to fuss with some of the accessibility stuff to see if we can create maybe an experience that is a little bit more akin to what I'm looking to have. But also, this just might be a little too visually stimulating for me. Okay. Cortex memories can be unlocked in the cortex. Each memory needs a specific amount of nutrition. Cool. Okay, so this is maybe... This is what I feel, just having sat down with it for a few minutes with y'all. What I feel, the core, like, shtick. Like, ooh, we're like a metrovania, but we're, we're a little different. Which is cool. I don't say that pejoratively. You need, like, a little bit of a secret sauce. Especially in a genre this well-versed. Um, okay, and then this is where I kind of do the upgrades. Um, gardens appear on the map. So I'm, like, filling this up then, yes? Maybe? Kind of? I think that's kind of the energy. I'm gonna do... Let's see, if we're gonna spend five more minutes... And then I probably will be, like, tweaking the hell out of these settings. I wonder how I'm supposed to kill then to, like... To, like, not... To, like, have, like, the best harvest. Huh. Maybe I can't, like, harvest more efficiently yet. I do love, like, a quick screw attack. The sound design is also quite nice. This sort of, it has, like, a fountain, like, a squelch kind of thing going on. Okay, we have... Yeah, like, something about it. Like, I just... I don't know. Like, it kind of gives me a little bit of a headache, if I'm being completely honest. But I'm also someone that gets, like, randomly car sick, and I feel like that's sort of the experience I'm having currently. And I'll get car sick, like, on a, like, a random drive to, like, the store. It won't even have to be far in the car. It's just someti sometimes something about it doesn't sit right. Um, a seed faintly glowing green. If attended to, its atmosphere potential will tassel onto a climbing plant. Of the Yugen based properties. I think too, like there's something there's like the lore dump is very heavy. Like I feel like it's a lot to take in right now. And again, that's also my uh, flaws as a player where I'm I'm somebody that things can very easily information can very easily just go through me and not really be processed. And, like, already I'm kind of like, oh. Like, what needs to happen? Am I supposed to be going this way? I do have a map. Okay. And then this is the life seed. Okay. Hold on. Temple of Motherhood. Am I supposed to go to the Temple of Motherhood? That feels like a good place to go. There's also this spot that I haven't really looked through. Yeah, the sound, is, the sound, is not, the sound design is quite nice. Temple of Motherhood. I also do like that they have the font, the description written underneath, like the more um, stylized text. That's what I was trying to say. Ooh. Cool, cool. And yeah, I, like I said, I really do like the combat angle with the dodge and counter. It helps, like, elevate it from, like, a hack and slash kind of situation. Not that there's anything wrong with hack and slash, but it's like if you're going for more. The spray there is a little rough to calculate because of, like, the additional burst of the... And it's like, is this okay? okay. How do I heal? I think there's a way to heal. I'm only, I only got hit a little bit, though. 
Um, the UI with like the Doom kind of look on the corner is nice. I like this guy. Look at his little jacket, his little backpack. I could have sworn that I planted something in that their fertile spot. Gardener, gardener. Oh! Our day greets you, my friend. Imagine this. I was just about to bury a delicate seed in this rich soil. But then I asked myself, Gardener, you drifting cloud, didn't you sow here already? Oh, our, oh shoot. Imagine this. I was just about to bury a delicate seed in this rich, rich soil. But then I asked myself, Gardener, you drifting cloud, didn't you sow here already? Okay, so maybe like a time loop situation? Luckily, I have many seeds. It's never too late to start anew. Okay. Due to an unusually spicy mixture of nutrients, the cassiome is potentially cyanic, transmogified by the sarcophagus's energy stem. It appears echoes of Ultros' entity to such an extent that many the sham shall stopped eating it out of self-deluded respect. This is just that's too much for me. It is very that's that's Mad Libs lore levels of a lot to unpack out of the gate. Um, I mean, I kind of get it, right? Like we're in the sarcophagus, okay? Like okay, it's appearance and it goes ultra sensitivity to such an extent that it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think this one's gonna be a, a me game. And in the game's defense, I don't even think it's really the game's fault. I just, um, it's just a lot going on. Okay, let's see if I can, what this is like. Ooh, I, okay, I'm like, I'm liking this. I'm liking this, I'm not gonna lie. That blur in the background is doing, doing some good work. Desaturate the background. Let me see how. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's that. That might be kind of nice. Player Halo. What does that mean? I'm gonna kind of do 100 and see what it looks like. It's like a glow around me. Yes. I don't know what Player Halo ends up meaning. What is Player Halo? Does anyone know? Hmm. I don't really notice anything different with Player Halo. I guess I just have it at 100? Simplified fonts? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do feel bad. I do feel like I'm kind of changing everything that makes the game the game, but I'm like, I can't do this. Like, I cannot do it. Let's desaturate a little bit more. I've never been so excited to be, like, in a menu. Um, Fade to white. That seems... That seems good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this feels, this feels, this feels a lot better. This feels a lot fucking better, bitch. What? Hold on. Hold on, cause I, I'm, I feel like we might've cracked the code here. <laughs> um, I wish I could do a fast like before after for you guys. I don't know how y'all feel. Let me know in the chat. If you're looking to share, this feels so much better to me. Like, this feels night and fucking day better. Is it just me? Is it just me? Or is this like, is this hitting now? Is this art hitting now? And not that it was ever like bad or anything, but it's just like, honestly, I might blur that background even more. Let's see, how far can we take? Do we want to go 100% blurred? No, maybe not 100% blurred. Let's... I feel like sometimes the background isn't blurred, though, still. Because a lot of this stuff isn't blurred. And then I, let's desaturate up to 30. Just to really, you know... Um... But yeah, and then at the risk of being like a frame rate person, which I'm not a frame rate person typically, I'm not like heavy in frame rates, I'm not heavy on graphics, but 
I feel like something about maybe it's just the frame rate being at 30 right now, which it could probably be better if I wasn't streaming. Something about it doesn't doesn't quite sit right. So yeah, I don't know. That's TBD here. Can I? And then just real fast, like, whoop. oh fuck, my ankle. Okay, hold on, hold on. Juggling. Enemies can be juggled. When the juggle indicator appears, hit the enemy again to aim them. Okay, kind of like an Ori moment over here. Um, aim with the stick and then pre okay. Wait, I'm kind of confused on how I get that to appear. I, I think I messed it up, but that's okay. Yeah, I'd be interested to try it again off stream with just better, which we could try to crank the frame rate. I have a pretty powerful PC. I feel like that could be. Let's see, is it gonna break? I think it's okay. We'll see if the stream breaks. I was cranking it to 60. Hey, look, sorry for the confusion. I just had to find my bearings. Hey, Chris, thanks for the follow. Things get blurry in here, and I've been stuck since forever in a day. I'm wallet with eyes that spy in all directions. Forget it. Just a bureau thing. Anyways, further ahead, there's a bastard of a shaman hooked to a pod. Here, have a look. Hmm... Seems good so far. Yeah, it, it hasn't crashed or anything yet, and I haven't started framing. This shaman bastard sustains the illusion and messes with the continuum, keeping anyone from getting out. I would also like... Sorry, this is like backseat developer vibes. I wish they bolded some of like the more important questions and like... Not questions, like keywords. Like, I think continuum might be a keyword in this, and like, I wouldn't mind if that was bolded. You must go there and bash the pod real good. Getting out of here is the only po it's only possible if the illusion shatters. I beg of you before you lose your mind like the others. Okay, so fucked up crazy shit's happening. I think one of my issues with this game is this is one of the slowest runs I've ever seen. And something about that feels off-putting to me. It's like my brain, and I think that's where the nausea comes in for me, where I feel like, and I don't feel crazy not just playing this game. Like if I did, I would stop, but um, and obviously, like, movement and speed in a game is in part illusion, right? Like, think about, like, Sonic's not really, like, I mean, he's going fast, but, like, part of how you feel he's going fast is, like, how quickly things fly by you. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, there's, like, speed at which Sonic travels when he's, like, you know, going full speed and all that. But it all works together to create the feeling of, of speed and intensity. And here it just feels like something's missing. Like, I feel like, I don't know, like the, the artifice comes through in a way that feels a little unsettling to me. So far pretty, cr uh, key oh, what's up with this hand? Plant. Wait. I think my issue with Ultros' approach to art is when everything is something, everything becomes nothing. I feel very visually overwhelmed and I am hard pressed to imagine anything that would like sort of wow me visually in this game. Like, it's, it looks beautiful, like don't get me wrong. I think they clearly like have a, a big love for the art of the world, the art of the background, but because there's so much going on, 
I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking at, what I'm supposed to be surprised by, or interested in, you know what I mean? Like, it's all kind of equally interesting, but then it kind of becomes all equally uninteresting at the same time. And again, I think, you know, a different kind of player might have a different interpretation of that. But for me, that that's how I feel. Like, on its own, this hand tree thing, while kind of phallic looking, is cool looking, right? Like, it's a little, it kind of has some energy, but let's, let's ignore that part and just look at, like, the idea of foreign structure, right? Like, that's cool, but then there's also, like, these, like, bulbs here. There's this eyeball. There's this eyeball. And even with me blurring the background, which now I do want to turn that up to 100 because I'm curious what they see the background as. Also, for 100 desaturation, this is not as desaturated. Let's go full desaturation, full blur, right? Like, a lot of this isn't the background. Like, it's so background foreground that it's like... Also, this is also phallic looking. They have a lot of phallic looking structures in this game. Um, I love the look, but it is too cluttered. Yeah, that's kind of the, the feeling that I get to. Um... Also, Smokey, if you're still here, you have a really fun username. See, like, that animation, though, it hits. Like, shout out to that animation work. And I like the idea of sleeping in this, like, funky little pod. Also, I think almost like this skill tree sort of approach to progression is pretty fascinating. I, it's something that I feel like I haven't seen in Metroidvania before, but feel free to shout out in chat if you've seen this kind of approach. But yeah, you know, I think, I think I'm, I don't want to end it here. Do I want to put some more time? Oh, let's see what time is it? It's 414. Hmm. Maybe we go a little bit more. Maybe a little bit more. Let's go to like four, tw let's, let's put up, let's, let's do five more minutes just to see a little bit more of the game. Um, and I know for a lot of you, you might be thinking, oh my god, like, this was such a quick bounce. But for me, especially having multiple games that we can dig into, like, I feel like I've seen what I need to see. And I know, like, a developer and, like, the team of this game might, like, disagree. Like, I remember being at, um, here's a story I haven't, I haven't, like, told. Um, I was at an event and I was previewing a game and I was, like, I kind of could tell, like, I didn't really like it that much. I'm like, I don't like the... I didn't like the feeling of the of how you like moved in the world and that's like a fundamental component of this specific game I mean it's kind of the fundamental component of any game but it was definitely like a thing in this game and I it was like a time not a time demo the demo was like we're pretending it's like a level right and I got like halfway into the level and I was leave gonna leave the station and then the developer was like oh you're about to get to we'll pretend it's um like a cooking game, even though, you know, whatever. Or uh, pretend it's a, um, like a puzzle game. It's like, oh no, you're barely, you're barely about to get to like the first actual puzzle. And I was like, okay, like, and I just kind of ended up playing more. Like I was pretty close. So, like, oh, I'll walk you through it um, to speed it along. I was like, yeah, but like, I didn't, ha you know, I didn't want to say like, to be honest, like, I feel like I've seen what I needed to see and I'm good. Now, admittedly, I think I actually might check out the full version of that game because I think I might just accept like, Maybe what it does, not great. And it also might just be a stylistic choice. But for me, I didn't connect with the move and feel. But yeah, and like, I get it. But then it's like, it's just an awkward moment. I was like, oh. So for me, like, and you know, people might argue that I bounce off things too quickly to a degree when it comes to like these quick little demo sessions. Do I need to go back to the Temple of Motherhood? I need to ultimately get over here. I mean, we're not going to get over here in the amount of time that we have, but like, can we go up? No. Okay, well, maybe I did, do need to go back. Um, oh, you can ho hold on, hold on. You can hold down the stick, I think. And I think that helps you run faster. Yeah, you can break into a bit of a sprint. That's a bit better, but what I would want... Oh, no, so you don't have to hold down the stick. You just have to, like, get enough speed to go. I kind of hate when games... When the gap between wa like walking and running is like a little too long, like I don't know. This is such a nitpicky thing for me, me to be looking at, but 
Um, see, I like this thing too, and this would look cool if there was like less stuff going on. I want like half the stuff that's going on in this game to be going on because I think it would make the stuff that is happening more powerful. But hey, maybe I'm alone in this. Or not alone, but maybe I'm not in the best company because, um, like I said, it's doing pretty well, like, critically. Like, I think the Metacritic of this is, like, an 80. Not that that's the end-all, be-all. Like, there's plenty of games that score well, and I'm like, you know? But um, something to maybe consider if you're like, oh, I don't know. Like, maybe I'd be into it. Is it that's this way? No, because it's just another pod, right? Huh. Is that gotta go up? I'm kind of confused on where you go. In my opinion, I'd rather just have a sprint button. Yeah, like, let's just break into a sprint at this point. I feel like it's up on the, from the next room. Well, these extra few minutes may not have been as, as well utilized as they could have been, because I'm not quite sure where to go. Yeah, this might be grand opening, grand closing for me, I think. Yeah, I... Because I think some of the issues I have with it... I don't think anything's gonna change that. You know what I mean? Like, I think just the core way the world is structured doesn't hit for me. Yeah, like, I just... Even with that, I mean, they, they have in the settings, so, like, especially uh, as, a, as we kind of wrap up our ultra session here, and you know what? Let me I already put a poll for the next game. Oops. Well, that's fine. Let me put a poll real quick. Let me open this up, because... Yeah, I feel like that's okay. Uh, well, let's just... Let me... Sorry, I'm all over the place. Let me go here and do the poll. And then we'll talk about Ultros a little bit more. Um, next game. And we're going to go between Hellskate and Lisfanga. Hellskate, it's um, you're a demon in hell. And it, demon in hell meets Tony Hawk's Pro Skater meets Hades. Question mark. Uh, Lisfanga, the vibes are if Prince of, Prince of Persia was an isometric hack and slash kind of puzzle game that's my cell on those but they have their own kind of descriptions so we'll put that up but yeah i did want to point out with the foreground background drama of it all for those especially that maybe came in late or whatever and it'll pull up on the screen in a second there you go so this is how this is me adjusting the settings of the game and this is what the game looks like with adjusted settings this is the differentiation between the foreground and the background because the regular set up which you know again this is an option you can set up um if you want to this is normally what the game looks like which honestly i feel like the gap is not as big as i thought it would be between these two looks so that's standard. And then again, the. Oh, now the desaturation. I feel like the desaturation wasn't working. Oh, player. Hey, oh, that's my bad. OK, cool. Player Halo is like, I don't know how to describe what this is. I guess it's like I affect the color. Oh, this is kind of interesting now, though. Hold on. Again, I still don't think this is enough for me to want to be into it. I don't want to completely desaturate the background because it is pretty. That, so I was kind of getting in my own way with the settings. Okay. That's a little something. I feel like that's, now I understand what Player Halo is. I was really confused on what Player Halo was. I was like, what does that mean? Let me know in the chat if you knew offhand what Player Halo was. I won't be upset if you did. I just didn't, and I find that kind of curious. I wonder how many people will... Like, is that a common term? Am I, like, just sleeping on that? Let's walk around a little bit just to give it a bit more of a look now. This explains quite a bit. I still don't, like, like it ultimately. I think it... Like, a spotlight? Yeah, it's like a spot... It's kind of like, imagine if you um, took a highlighter and you, like, put it around the player. It's how much of the area gets, like, Focused and illuminated, I guess. It does kind of function like a spotlight. So this is... You can kind of see how it, like... 
un it like focuses the background now. That's why it didn't look that different because I had cranked the player halo. I thought player halo was like how like bright the player was or something. Oh, it's doing focus too. That's cool. Yeah. So it's like I misunderstood that. So I could have gotten more of the settings earlier, but this is just y'all showing y'all off what you can have it set to if you're interested in a slightly different look to the game, which I do really love that they have this. I think for me though, it's still, and I'm just kind of walking around for the vibe. Liz Fanga's next, okay. Just to show y'all a little bit of it. I don't know, I kind of, you know, I'm, I'm a little torn on this one. I kind of want to give it more of a try just because um, I know Jill and Mike are really into it and I feel like they have different enough gaming tastes that I'm like, oh, is there something here? Like, am I the problem, you know? But again, so many games out. I think I'm just going to end up passing on this one, unfortunately. Uh, just not a me game, but that was uh, that was Ultros. Because ultimately, like, my problem is, like, the visual stimulation of it, which to me, I think that's, like, a highly kind of debatable and personal thing. I mean, the movement didn't wow me either. So, like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend, like, I don't have negative, like, a, a slightly negative perspective on Ultros. But I don't think my take is the end all be all specifically because I mostly take issue with just the look of it and how overwhelming it kind of is uh, if you're someone that looks at it and you're like no I think it looks rad pour more time into it than I you probably you probably will be more interested in putting more time into it than I currently am kind of situation so um let's do also with the background of here let's just do a little um Let's do the northern, the little northern light uh, stuff. But cool, we're gonna get Liz Fanga set up over here. Let's toss some little creator music on there. Um, Mash Mash Games, thanks for the follow. Um, but yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be switching over to Liz Fanga, um, the Time Shift Warrior. I'm not gonna lie, I have very high expectations. Sounds dramatic, but I'm very much looking forward to this game because I really loved what I played with it, of it at SGF. It was kind of my game of the show in a lot of ways. Um, and this one isn't doing quite as hot on Metacritic, but I feel like maybe everyone's wrong. I don't know. Um, it's not doing badly either. So it's uh, it came out earlier this week. It's at 75. Like people are like, oh, okay. You know, I, I feel like it's gonna be really, really cool. I'm very excited. Um, let's take a look at what the art is like for Liz Fanga and get a little bit of a of a new color scheme going on here. Um but yeah let me know in the chat what's the what is the last 2024 game you tried? Like the most recent kind of new game you tried out if that makes sense. Okay let's see. Liz Fanga. Um, a lot of blues here. And let's get like that gold kind of look to it too. Okay. Liz Fanga's a very blue game. We're gonna go with... Okay. Nightbot. I have so many tabs open too. Let's close a lot. Let's close a lot of these tabs. Let's close almost all these tabs. Okay, let's do. Don't, 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 don't. We'll go with this color. It's a lot of blues. The gold could be fun for the sidebar if it comes up even. But oh, we'll need to put this on the. There we go. And then. We'll do this deaf navy blue for the side. Uh, this maybe the card. That might be too much. Let's flip those so that the darker one is on the card. Okay. Yeah, that looks like Lisfanga. Um, it's updating now on my computer. I tried Pacific Drive demo and excited for the full release. See, Mash Mash, I am so that's another that's another game that Jenny uh, is representing. So, disclosure there as well. Uh, Jenny's involved in a lot of games. 
And again, if you don't know Jenny, she is a co-host on the Indie Council podcast. But um, I am very much down to try Pacific Drive. Um, that's one that I'm more interested in for the full version. I'm kind of waiting for the full version to dip into it. But I did an, a hands-off preview of it. Oop. Something fell. And I, I was, like, not into that hands-off preview. Like, I left more skeptical than I entered. Just because I'm like, well, what's going to be, like, the funness of the... Like, where's the entertainment of the loop? And I'm most interested in that game in terms of, like, the narrative aspects of things. Um, but we'll see. I have not touched it since that hands-off preview, which I did not even touch it at the hands-off preview. I linked it in the chat if people are interested in seeing my thoughts at the time. Um... Seaborg says, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth is taking most of my time as far as the most recent 2024 game that people dipped into. Um, but yeah, Pacific Drive comes out. Gosh, when does that come out? That comes out, I feel like, kind of soon. I have the date here. Oh my god, February 22nd? Does it really come out that soon? That's brutal. That's brutally soon. I don't know when I'll be able to get to that. Maybe I'll get to it for the, um, let's look at calendar view. So drive. Oh my gosh. So that day is stacked. That day, the 22nd, we have open roads, Pacific drive, garden life, a cozy something like tail or whatever. And Inkle Naughty actually comes out that day. Um, if you are deep into the, my Twitch VOD lore or whatever, uh, Inkle Naughty is actually a game we played last year for best of 2023 watch back when it was in early access um so shout out to that okay cool we're gonna get list fanga going here uh that's a cool game by the way ankle naughty like i i was into it um allow access even though i checked kind of the wrong thing here but that's okay and then we'll go to actually let me just Okay, let's pause our little music once it loads back over here. And then we're going to go to Classic Live uh, for some Lisfanga. Lisfanga. Oh, gosh, that was loud. We're going to change that immediately. <laughs> okay, well, let me also use the controller. Audio. Something like this, maybe? Let me know how that seems. Uh, let's look at other settings really quick. Borderless. Graphics preset. Let's... We'll leave high for now. Maybe, you know, we'll see. We might have to bring it down to something else because that might be too much. All right. Let me know if, if we start framing on the camera. I'll drop the graphics down to medium. But yeah, Steam Next Fest just finished. Long ago in Antala, two rival factions. It's maybe still a little Myura loud, I don't know. Lara, shaped the land through brutal conflict. Mm. Eventually, and after years of battle, a truce was reached. But alas, that peace did not last. Mysterious creatures invaded our world. We called these demons the Raxes. So this is a little see-through. fell overnight <laughs> as the rest of us watched in horror. Our only hope came at a terrible cost. I, Chimera, Queen of Mayura, went through the ritual of ascension. And in doing so, I became a god. I stopped time itself in the old cities, trapping all inside. The invasion was quelled, and I faded into the shadows. The cities remained trapped in time for centuries. The survivors of the Calamity fled and founded the New Kingdom. Now, every generation, the Kingdom is blessed with the birth of a warrior. A soul protector known as Lisfanga, who passes hey, their the name. down to the next. Until something unexpected happened. Twins. Ooh. You, Ime, struck 
strong in the way of the blades, and your brother Kehor, a burgeoning master of magic. When time came for you both to accept your duties as Lisbanga, this responsibility became yours alone. For Kehor left without a word, not even to you. A few years later, our people woke from their slumber in terror. The golden glow of the time locks gone from the horizon. From the old continent, my voice is calling for you. This is where your journey begins, Lisbanga. Oh, do I hit X or something? Or no, it's just still loading, I think. Um, my favorite demo was until then, just some really well-written high school vibes. I feel like one of my colleagues played that, but I don't remember fully. Yeah, the art's cool. It was a little, like, dry of exposition, in my opinion, but let's see. Okay, here we go. Let's get it. Let's Finally, get it. The lost city of Mayura. You can barely tell this place has been sealed for 500 years. It's peaceful here, and altogether too quiet. I need to find what made the time locks disappear. What is... is that... Araxis? The old enemy from the legends. If what they say is true, a horde cannot be far away. Hey! Get back here. I love how common this hairstyle is for like women protagonists in video games. It's just a good time. All right, classic square triangle to attack. The um, the the rumble is rumbling. Um, I love random things that I can break in games: boxes, crystals. Ooh. Oozes with power. I should take it. Okay. Can I fall off? No, you can't. Good. Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Oh, this is. I think this has another like. <laughs> so now I'm like obsessed with how people run in games. It does pick up speed at a certain point, but you start off pretty quick already. Okay, was it square to dash? No, it's X. I love a dash. Love to dash. The rumble does feel overpronounced, though, if I'm being honest. Okay. At the beginning of each fight, observe the environment and plan on your actions. Move the camera with the left stick and start the fight by pressing X. The remaining number of Raxes is displayed on the top left of the screen. Um, Raxes that were previously killed appear at the bottom, and Raxes that are still alive appear in the middle. To win, eliminate all of the Raxes in the area. Um, Shamshir and Shield. Press square to use your blades and slash enemies. You can also rush your target with your shield and stagger them by pressing triangle, uh, leading to a stun. Cool. There you are. And you brought friends. And a Hey, thanks, Skeleton Praxis. And they got that up fast. Strange. Cause we had to record that Xbox pickup like the following day or whatever, so Kato was in their editing bag, getting that thrown together. Uh thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So I just, I mean, I just have to kill everybody at this point. So, I mean, I guess I'll go. Oh, what was the deal with the portal again? I forgot what she said about the portal. If anyone remembers, let me know, but I'm just going to start the fight. Okay. There was something about the portal, but I don't know what it was. Oh, it's like I can appear through the portal, I think, or something, right by hitting circle, maybe? Oh. Oh. Maybe I misunderstood. What? What happened? That's a great question. What happened? I got that same question. Do not be afraid, my child. You are here at my behest. I was the one who called you to these forgotten lands. Goddess of time. Chimera, is that? Yes, my child. 
I brought you here to grant you my aid. Rax is a free from my spell and threatened to ravage our world once more. And yet, I sense an even greater threat behind them. They have learned from the past, become even more dangerous. And so, my gift to you is time. Time? No, no. I need real time. Damn. Don't you have a magic sword for me? Receive my light, Lisfunga. Let this power flow through you. Okay. Getting some, getting our little time power pretty quickly, I guess. With this power, you will have command over time. Fight your enemies. Rewind time. And fight again alongside your past self. That's the back of the box, baby. Let's go. You will appear as an army to your enemies. But you are not invincible. Let's go. The real game begins now. Yeah, give me a weapon time is for the herbs, exactly. Um, so now I own the ability to rewind time. Using it resets the fight at the beginning, creating a perfect copy of yourself, a remnant that replays exactly all your actions. This power is triggered when you die and can be activated by pressing L2. At the start of a fight, a portal is opened, wiping you out when the timer is shown at the top screen. Oh, the timer, the screen. Okay, now I got it, now I got it. The timer shown at the top of the screen is up. This, or getting hit after losing your health point, will automatically make you rewind time. Any rewind, manual or not, uses a remnant from your count. You lose if you run out. Okay. So how much time do I have? Does it say? It says it's going to be in the top, but... Okay, I think... How many rem I have five remnants? How many remnants do I have? I have three remnants, I think. I think I have three. We'll see. Um, let's not spend too much time strategizing because we're like, this is the first thing in the game, so. I'm here again. So we hey, definitely have three. Is that another me? Oh, that's already done. Oh, I see, and my timer is like, cool. So like, that's, More me's. More so I have those two going. And I think this will be enough time then I can do these ones by myself. See? And that's how the game works. <laughs> Which, I don't... Again, I since I played this and previewed it before, it's like, I don't know. Um, this is my walkthrough of this game. But that's how it functions. So you'll send, like, these different cells, and you have to, like, accomplish those the goal of killing everything in the allotted amount of time. But you kind of have, like you get to repeat so it's like you have more time in a way that's not a great explanation of it but i feel like y'all know from watching it what it's this like much better than a magical sword but i can only use it so many times um and that's the game so um out of combat you can hold x to run or run without stopping to sprint so it's funny they have both right to leave as soon as the time locks disappeared where it's like it'll if automatically Chris go. Back home had known about the Raxes, they wouldn't have let me go. You can either automatically go or like manually like hit X to like sprint. Okay, let's just look around. Oh, oh, there's just something. I wouldn't mind if those were a little more obvious. Maybe I'll develop more of an eye for them. Because I walked up to him, barely even knew that I had walked up to anything. Just a cozy little walk around town. All right. Um, condemned enemies. When Rax is... When a Raxus is killed, it is considered condemned in the following loops. Raxus in that state have a skull above them. This means that they will be killed by your remnants in the following loops. Raxus in the state cannot see the real you. However, getting too close to them or attacking them will break them out of their state and they become real again. Beware, as this could make you move 
out of your at beware as this could make them move out of your remnants attacks and change their fate okay i think i kind of get that um enemies indicators enemies that are still alive are shown by indicators that appear above is it ma you may you may and me what's the, I forgot what the two dots denotes but um once defeated they no longer appear unless they lose again i think i kind of get that we'll see. see what my new powers can do We'll see, we'll see. So we have eight people to kill. And they're kind of far away. Um, I guess like up the sides and then up the mi middle maybe? Ow. Okay. So then you just hit L2 to like speed it along. Little bit more time left. I guess I can try to kill this guy too just to have it done. Oh! See, and then it's like I automatically died yeah. there, but. Okay. I think that's gonna be everything. I'm just gonna hang out and see if my other selves kill everybody else. Great. Cool. And then there's like a. Not a speedrunning aspect, but you can, like, try to beat your best times and find the most efficient routes and stuff. For me, I'm fine just, like, going through the game. I'm trying to get the hang of this. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Portal relics. Portal relics are vestiges of your fights with Vaxes. Use them to replay fights you already have. Improve your strategy to beat the time challenge. Oh. I don't know how I could have gone faster, so I'm just gonna keep going for now. So yeah, this is this Fanga. It's fairly like simple and straightforward in a lot of ways, but I think it's just like, to me, it feels like classically good. Like it's just a good video game. And I'm really excited to like continue with this one, I think. Um, again, it's a busy time. I will be looking up the hell on to beat on this, but I feel like it's really fun and cool and i'm excited to see like the new abilities you get like here we got we got spells so let's press circle to use your equipped spell spells give you secondary abilities capable of changing the outcome of fights their cooldown is shown at the bottom of the screen and will be shortened if you rewind time manually oh that's kind of interesting okay another portal let's go Mm. Okay, I have an idea. I think I'm going to go one that takes care of all of these people. One that takes care... Well, that takes care of mostly of these three. One that takes care of these four. And then one that takes care of these three. Hey, yeah. Sapphire Diamond Ruby, thanks for the sub with Prime. I appreciate yeah. it. So, and I'm not sure how the, pa the spells work yet exactly, but... Oh my gosh. A little bit more time to like do one more. Okay. And then um, I want to go up the middle next. I guess I'll just go with like this. Still have a good amount of time left. See, I could do it faster, though, if I, like, if I would just have, like, my second one only take a few, because then this one can take these. And by the time they all finish working together, I would have saved a little bit of time. But right now, I'm not that obsessed with saving time. Time to be 38 seconds. I think I can do... Th I might try this again, just to see what we can do. There must be clues in... Why not? Just to see. Just to look. I'm thinking we do this, right? Oh, 
Oh my gosh. And then, um, oh my gosh. Just kidding. That was, didn't work out. Actually, none of this worked out. Can I like, can I just re <laughs> research this arena? That was really bad. Because So I'm thinking one person does the f these three. The other person does these four. That's like a lot of people. I don't know. Maybe I do the four. Let's just let's just try it this way. Okay. Maybe I do this one too. And then somebody else does like the other ones, like like these ones. And then the last of me, the real me does like Please. Yay! I, okay. Cool. Um, so I beat the challenge time with that. Fun. So yeah, this is good, simple fun. I don't have a lot of like really flowery or elabor elaboratory, like, you know, expanded thoughts on it. It's just good. It's got like a really sound design to it. It's really fun. It's simple. It's straightforward. Um, I think the, the potential cons of this game is I could see it not, um, developing enough to make it interesting um i could see like maybe not enough abilities getting introduced and or i could see like it overstaying its welcome but like as is like this is not a game that's going to necessarily like completely rock the world i think just because like with what it's doing and how it's doing it it feels like there's a bit of a ceiling to how good of a game it can be but i feel like the floor is also like pretty high up there like this feels like very easily in that seven eight territory but in a strong and personable way um so even though i don't have like a lot of like wildly glowing things to say about it in a sense like i think it's really like really good really strong super enjoyable like i love this game um yeah seems fun yeah let's fanga let's fanga i think we'll do maybe like one to two more battles and then switch over to hellskate for sake of time, just kind of gain a taste, uh, a bunch of different titles. Uh, find three more to create another round. Oh, that, see, that's lit too. I will say, I think one of the weakest parts of the game is probably the exploration. Like the exploration is very like bare bones, it feels like. I mean, I like it, it's cozy and simple, but it is like not that wild. Okay, twins, um, this is a really fun thing that I experienced in the preview event that I had in the summer as well, where you'll have enemies that have like different properties. And this is also where I think they do a good job, like shaking things up. So you have twins to beat the twins. You must defeat them simultaneously. Um, so it's like, Ooh, another wrinkle. Like I enjoy the wrinkles that they have set forth in these little challenge areas they provide. Um, so for this, I think it'd be, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say easiest if we like, hmm. I think we can have, okay, I have an idea. Cause I think we can have one one person like just do this over and over again um, and then like the middle. Okay, so I'm gonna go up the left first. And then I'm going to hit this enemy just like over and over again with my remaining time because that way like the timing won't be as hard to do. And I think that'll work. And then I'm going to go up this other way. Okay, and now with my last self... There we go. Did 
Time to be 33 seconds. Damn. Hmm. That's tough. I don't really know how I would do that faster than I already did, but maybe there's a way. I, w I hope stuff comes out of these crystals at some point because like they're fun to hit, but I do want like something out of it. To me, there's something also just kind of inherently cozy about a dio about the isometric point of view. It kind of has like that diorama dollhouse playing with toys kind of feel to it. Um, I guess it's because there's something about isometric that almost implies like God. And that's kind of the fun of of a uh, pretend play. Okay, what do we got going on here? What are we cooking with here? Hmm. Okay. Making my way downtown, playing this fanga, time shift warrior, so don't do it. Do 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 Staring blankly ahead. Okay, um, now we have something else. Magical doors. Uh, Raxes are using magical doors to block your path, destroy the crystals powering them to open the way. Okay. All right, we got it. Now we got it. crystal is powering the magic barrier. Yeah, another wrinkle. I should destroy it. Sure. Um, I don't think you needed to say that, but it's cool that you did, I guess. You know, doesn't hurt to have extra clarity. Um... I'm thinking we have one go up here, kill these two things, and then attack this guy over and over again. And then somebody goes here and does that, and then I do the, f the final four. It's kind of a lot to do four, but I feel like that'll make sense. We'll find out, I guess. Oh god. Time to beat 34. The time to beat always feels just a little under what you naturally would do, which I think is a good sign. You know, like I feel like they are pushing the right amount. Staring blankly ahead, making my way, making my way to the town. I feel like this is only PC and Switch, but now I'm kind of curious actually what this is on. Staring blankly ahead, making a head. Okay, let's see. Uh, Lisfanga. It's just on PC right now. Can you, the Platinum on Switch would be awesome. Um, sorry, no, the Platinum on PlayStation. Oh my God, that's so funny. The plat a, a Platinum on Switch would be awesome, but unfortunately, Switch does not have any form of trophies or achievements. Okay, let me look up that how long to beat while I'm open over here. It says 10 and a half main plus sides, which tells me that probably means like the regular game might be a little shorter. Let's do one more um one more battle because I so far they are still introducing like new stuff. And maybe they'll introduce new stuff for every battle for the whole game. Kind of doubt that they would do that, but technically a possibility. Um hmm, wait. I wasn't done exploring though, no. Cause I might be missing stuff. Am I missing stuff? Will you tell me if I'm missing anything? Can I come back down? You can, okay. Let's look through this a little bit more. Uh, 
Aha, see, we almost missed something right here. I do wish it was a little, like, more visually clear. Like, where that stuff was or what that stuff was, but... I don't know, maybe they want you to have to, like, comb over things more carefully. To kind of compensate from the fact that, like, the areas aren't, like, that large or that, like... They don't have that much to interact with, and there's not that many ways to interact with the environment. Other than, like, smashing the crystals. Tell me, Grenos, what more should I know about the temple? Also, too, if you played Lost Crown, no spoilers for Lost Crown, but just the general structure and vibe of this does feel very Lost Crown, where it's like, oh my god, like, is that so-and-so from before? It is. You know, like, I don't know, like, the cutscenes and the energy, it's very similar. Um, what more should I know about I the temple? All I, know. I, you, I love him. Really no need for all this. Oh, this is basically just C-3PO if he was buff, which I appreciate. Until, okay, cool. Are what are you doing in here? That voice. Sister? Kel? Is that you? Oh. This is not quite how I imagined our reunion, Ime. That's you Ime. have come here. There are dark forces at work in these forsaken lands. You do not want to be involved in any of this. What are you talking about, brother? And what? Who is that? I'm quiet, you. Oh my god! Sister, leave this place. For your own sake. Kel! Damn it! Mmm, the classic evil twin. This one's fun too. So guardians, <laughs> guardians block attacks with their giant shields. You want to damage them from the back. Cooperate with your remnants to defeat them. Okay. This one looks tough. Okay, I think I have an idea on how I want to do this. And then we'll just keep fighting off from the front for this one. Just so that we can like easily go around. Oops. And then I'll do the fight at the end. Let me wait for like my remnant actually. Okay, I gotta redo this one because time to beat 36, mine time 37, like it's cause I broke that crystal, isn't it? Oh, will he be my friend now? Friend, 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 friend. Hello. H Hello again. Thank you for fixing me. Oh, I love Most him. Kind. You were speaking with my brother about a temple. Is that where he's headed? Where is it? That symbol on your armor. The same as Janna's. Very well. I will explain everything, or at least as much as I can. But... We should reach safer surroundings first. I know a place. Please, follow me. Fine. Lead the way. Yay! Okay, you can return to the camp at it. Oh, okay. Nice little hub area. Here we are. Welcome. This place is safe from the Raxus. Protection magic is shielding these stones from intruders. It was once a magical academy during the reign of Queen Chimera. I served here as a collector and teacher of history. Ah, my poor Mayora. She was a true marvel, and now... Well, 
Consider this your base of expedition. A camp, if you will. Please, about my brother. What is he doing here? And with the Raxes, no less. Alas, I only know his destination. The Temple of Mayu. Then that's where I'm headed. Indeed. But first, let me... Hmm. Aha! Still working. Okay. With this spell, I will be able to see through your eyes, if you let me. Ooh. I will try to help you <laughs> however I can. I don't know if I want you seeing through my eyes, and but with this okay. Trinket, you will be able to use the teleporters of the city, including the big one here. And last but not least, let me teach you a little spell from my time to aid you in your fights against the Raxus. Thanks, Grenos. Cool. You can unlock the ability to teleport. Press uh, right on the D-pad anywhere or up if you need. If you are near a teleporter to open the locations. Oh, anywhere. Oh, okay. Orb of Light uh, throws an energy ball in line in front of you, dealing damage in an area of impact. I also wonder if it's meant like some of these like time challenges are meant to like go back to after the fact, like after you have more abilities. You can now create an additional remnant. mentioned a man named Janna before. He was one of my teachers. Janna is the one who found me, restored me. He told me of your new kingdom. You could say he got me up to date. Then he left. I do hope he is safe out there. I don't know if I'll ever see him again, but I am grateful for the time we shared together. He loves him. Is there no, like, save? Like, manual save? It probably has saved. Um, cool, that was Liz F uh, That was <laughs> Liz Fanga. Um, again, I really like it. I think it's really good. Um, simple but satisfying is kind of the vibe of this. Again, is it a must-play of the year? That's probably too strong, right? But I think it's really enjoyable, and I feel like you'll have a good time with it. Uh, hey, Jen, great job on the Easy Allies podcast. You added to the fun vibes. Yeah, it was super fun uh, being on there. So shout out to that. Glad they had me. Uh, they have also a really cool studio. I mean, I know y'all watching see their Let's Play setup, see their studio setup. But honestly, like, I think it might be my favorite studio of all the ones I've seen. Um, just like the way the space is laid out, I think is really conducive to a lot of kinds of work and things. Um, yeah, I like their fake window. In their uh, little let's play room. I think that's cool. Uh, definitely something that I like geeked out about with like their audio like setup and like how they get like the let's play stuff going and the lighting and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, definitely a lot of work and thought went into all that and it shows. Um, yeah, I got to get one of those like apparently the key is to have that like desk in that like kind of V shape. Everyone I know that has a good desk, that desk is in that V shape. But yeah, it was cool. I really like the bets that they do on that show. I think that's super fun. Um, yeah, some fun segments, some like cute little themes. I like a little weird Furby thing about what what's what's its name, Ralph or something. I don't know. I don't remember anymore. Hope we see there. Hope to see. Hope we see you more. Uh, be great on mysterious monsters. Yeah, I I think I'll be back there. I don't know like how soon. Um, admittedly it's a bit far from where i'm at in la but it is like in la and i'm in la um like going there took forever becoming because of the traffic and the time of day but coming back did not take long at all because there was like no traffic um but yeah you know we'll stay posted i have the um the thing that we i gotta send um a picture of that silent hill experience uh to isla the umd that i have of that Rufus, yes, thank you. I'm like, Ralph, Rufus, who is this? But yeah, it was good times. Um, all right, let's, I think, transition over to Hellsgate. Um, just because, again, this is like, I've seen what I need to see positively, you know? Um, well, the other one was like, I've seen what I need to see kind of negatively. Uh, also, let's tweak the lighting here a little bit. 
try to bring a little more light in here. It's getting it's getting a bit dark. Um, cool, cool. Let's do. I want to do the intermission screen, but I also kind of want to do like the BRB, just because then I can sit here and like I'm not seen. Hopefully, it saved this game. There's no manual save, but I think it's saved. And uh, yeah, let me get Hellskate already queued up though. Ready to go. Um, are y'all playing any games that came out this week? Are y'all skull and bonesing it up? That sounds weird, but um, I have that. And I'd like to check it out at some point, but like, I don't know. Uh, the timing's not great for it. There's just so many multiplayer, online multiplayer options right now. It's already like, it's kind of inherently a saturated genre, but I feel like this release timing was like really challenging because it's like, ah oh, man, if I want to like, if I want to play something that I really, that I think is really good, I'll play, that's multiplayer, I'll play Helldivers too. And if I want to play something that maybe isn't as good, but I want to finish it, I'll play um, Suicide Squad. So it's like, do I want to start Skull and Bones? Like, oh, not really. I'll be honest. Uh, good evening. Uh, what's up, Precious? How's it going? But I think I'll try it out with Isaiah at some point, but I think I might want to wait until I'm done with um, when I'm done with Suicide Squad. I don't know when we're getting back. We will get back at some point. But I don't know exactly when. Um, cool. Let's do the... Mm. What scene do I want to do? Let's do BRB because at least then I can change like the scene while I'm on my break. So we'll do that uh, once... This, actually, while I reserve the space, let's just do that now. Um, Cause then I can maybe we can maybe we can do the intermission thing. Uh, let's look up Hellskate. 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 And let's get the palette going here. Let me look up like the actual like key art because I feel like I'm not forgetting the key art. Hell skates key art. Oh, I guess that is the key art. Okay, I do have the key art. Um, I feel like purple's a big thing in here. Okay, I think I have the colors ready to go. Oh, and hi, by the way. Oh, what's up, Ash? Now nah, I'm still trying to finish Baldur's Gate 3. So close. Congratulations on uh, nearing the end of that. That's a beefy... That's a beefy title. But yeah, how's it going, Ash? Um, Let's see. We got this. We got that. We got Hellskate. Yeah, let's get these colors going before we do our... We will do the formal intermission, I think. Um, Hellskate's pretty purpley, so I think we'll do some purples. We'll have to see if the um, if purple comes up naturally on this. It does. Okay, so we can use a couple other colors. We can do the status bar as this, and then we can do the we'll do the card as this color. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I like the look of that. Cool, cool. Uh, I'm about to do the third thing in Act Three, which enables Endgame being deliberately vague. No, that is fair. I think I might end up finishing that just via co-op with Isaiah, but that's a big undertaking. Like I have my own solo file, but like he kind of stopped because he's like, well, I want to experience it with you before doing like a solo run. So I might just end up doing the same. We'll see. Um, in the meantime, let's, let's do my quick actions. Get those up. So many tabs. So many tabs we have. Cool. In the meantime, uh, you can enjoy the chair stream and the song Shub as composed by my brother as we do a little intermission break. And I'll be back in five minutes plus or minus. So hang tight and we'll be back with Hellskate.
Yo, hey, uh, thanks for the yeah. sub, Yaro. I appreciate it. Um, Ash said, I've been playing, oh yeah, I've been thinking of buying on PlayStation again so I can co-op with Eddie and anyone who else who wants to jump in. Oh, for Bullet Gate 3? Nice. Does it not have, like, um, can you not, what, cause what would it be? Because you're on PC now, right? Does it not have, like, crossplay or something? Um... Let's see, Hellskate time. Welcome to Hellskate. Okay. Oh. Where's your dual sense? Is it? Thank you. No, I didn't. I can do it right now. No, that's fine. I'm going to forget otherwise. Um, let's see, this should be booting up. There it goes. And then I'll tab over to where y'all can see the game. Cool. We'll pipe that, adjust the settings and things. Welcome to Hellscape Early Access. Thank you for playing. Hellscape is an active development. I don't hear things going down in volume, but we'll see. Um, okay, cool. And then real quick, I'm just gonna do something. Um, gotta log some. I gotta log a lunch. Um, turkey, Hillshire, Hillshire, yeah. And then the cucumber, some hummus, sriracha mayo, pretzels. This is right. Cool. All right. The music's a bit much, if I'm being honest for me. This is a taste thing, though. <clears throat> oh. F footage? Oh, also, let me know if the camera starts framing on me, because it might. Quick. Find me a deck before the monsters get here. Crap, they found me already. Oh, another one winged angel. Oh, L1 to dodge. Okay, not dodging super well. This is another one where something about the movement feels a little. Oh, much. I have to get like the perfect dodge. I'm like <laughs> running into the. I'm about to die. Oh, do I just need it? Oh, okay. Ah, what the? Can I fight with this? Uh, new plan. Gate L3. Okay, R3. I would have. What is attack? Oh, R2! I would have thought it would have been square. Oh, that has a cooldown. Okay. The R1 attack doesn't have a cooldown. I 
lost a lot of health so far. Oh, is this stuff for me? Um, thank you. Wait, who am I thanking? Oh, I thought I could go into that. Can I heal? Because the tutorial wrecked me. Okay, so you can shoot the trick to unlock. Um. Hmm. I mean, I guess I'll take this. Okay, press up and then down to start manualing. Press down and up to start a nose manual. Tap up and down on the thumbstick to balance. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. Uh, maybe the beach is this way. Solid so far. So this feels like it's kind of going for like. It's not quite as, like, tight. I mean, it's definitely not as tight, but it's, um... Oh my gosh, died. Thanks for the follow. Um, it feels like it's going for, like... What's that? The roller skate one? Roller Drome. But it doesn't feel nearly as good as Roller Drome, so... But also, Roller Drome feels kind of insanely good, so it's like, ah. This also feels like it's more open and chill than Roller Drome is. Roller drum almost becomes a puzzle at a certain point. Falcon. Glad you're okay, man. Jack grind radio. Look yeah, a little bit. Thing. The wing is sick. Don't even worry about it. It looked great in your clips. How did you find me? Hey, never doubt my ability to find cool stuff in the trash. Come and see me before you go out there again, yeah? Maybe say hi to Jenny and Layla. Don't worry about the wing. It makes you look mysterious. Can just stop skating and just kind of walk. You're back. Oh, Anton, it's only you. Yep, still the same loser weirdo trying to make it through the hellscape. Who'd you think I was? Apologies, I just didn't recognize you with the wing. Is that? Me? Yeah, it's not that bad, is it? Sorry, I don't mean to stare, but wow, look at it. Just <clears throat> sticking out of your back there. Oh, nice. Uh, PS Plus game for Roller Drum. Roller Drum's so good. Me, right? It does get kind of old towards the end. Like, they have you, like, fight the same boss, like, twice, which is kind of weird, but... Generally, though, lovely game. Oh, yes, of course. But not for free. Oh, yeah, no. No, you weren't. Okay, fun. Do I have any money right now? Oh, and they have, um... Like stats. Like one dash before needing to recover. Like an extra dash. When your health reaches zero, resurrect with half health. That's kind of cool. I wish they had transmog for this though. Also, it's that weird thing where like I can't really tell what's highlighted. Is the black highlighted or the brown highlighted? Ugh, okay, um... I kind of want to go based on aesthetics. Hmm. Oh, I don't have any money though, I guess. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, Okay, grind. There's flip. Grab. 
Okay, it's a lot easier to do things. Like, one of my... And I get what's what people like about it, but, like, Tony Hawk... Like, I was playing the, um... Like, the remake of Tony Hawk Pro Skater, and it's, like, very, um... Kind of, like, brutally hard. <laughs> I, like, forgot how hard that game was, so I was like, oh. Like, I just remember really liking this game, and, like, it's a great game, but... It's really hard, and this feels, like, a lot chiller. I do wish it, obviously, you know, early access right now, but I wish it looked, like, a little sharper. But it feels, it feels pretty good, I would say. Doing some window shopping? Your decks are pretty. Um, have you noticed they're also magical? Yeah, definitely. Uh, why is that again? <laughs> you think I'm gonna tell you? That info is for repeat customers only. You drive a hard bargain, Jimmy. Ew! Don't use the B word in my shop. Hmm, cool. Interesting. Woods grind. Okay, let's see what's going on here. There's a rumor online that someone stood up to the big guy. Is that why I found my best friend in the track? Yeah, but I don't get it. If Garland hates me that much, why won't he just let me leave? Uh, hang on. Leave the city? I thought you just wanted to skate at some beach. Footage. I love you, man. But you're like the only one who cares about my skating. Everyone else just thinks I'm annoying. Oh, so you think you'll find a warm welcome in the hellscape? A labyrinth full of monsters trying to kill you? I'm just saying, once I get to the beach, I have no reason to come back here. No reason at all, huh? Oh. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Use a dash to avoid damage. Okay. Oh, we get like a buff maybe? Where I can like pick a thing? As to press torso, light attacks do 40% more damage and ha- okay. Playing in a mana position creates a wave of poison. That seems cool, but I don't- You know what? I can learn how to land in a manual. Wait, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. It's like up and down or something. I feel like the wave of poison is not as big as I hoped it would be. It's a little like, it's definitely a little like floaty. Well, let me like, can I kill this other enemy or? Oh no, what's this? Hmm, I don't know. Like it's not as tight as I'd like it to be. Um. Sure. Put the flip track. Hold and release jump and then okay, while in the air press and square do a flip trick, okay, so Alright. Like a tape, I guess. Ew. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this just, you know, it's fine. But this, so far this definitely feels, I mean, again, okay, it's early access, so I don't want to be too harsh on it, but it feels like the concept is better than the execution. It's not bad. 
But it's just like not really that good, you know? Like everything it's doing, I should be like, yeah, but I'm kind of like, all right, you know, I was like, okay. Because there's like, I think both the skating and the combat are both too casual. Because again, I think of like the closest game to this besides like Tony Hawk is like Roller Drome. And with Roller Drome, like you had that like slow down time kind of aspect that sort of helped like the combat be manageable in the midst of all the tricks. And yeah, like this does not have a, a thing to lean on. So both are kind of like a little too forgiving, which makes like the whole experience kind of like mundane. Um, the basic building block of Hellskate, good for use in most. Oh, hey, you're sure. Okay, and now I'll go here. I guess I don't know. Okay, goal list press. Okay. Okay, so goal list. Maybe not. Maybe that's not the right button. Oop. Oh. Shoot. Uh, how am I gonna get up? That's cute. Oops. The uh, song says, that's not a bug, that's a feature. That's hilarious. Oh, I don't know how to bridge that gap. See, how, is there a way I can, like, kick to, like, gain more speed? There's gotta be. Fucking shit. Okay. Hmm. How can I... Is there, like, a... Maybe, a? I can go around this way and just kind of... How do I like gain more height? Okay, let's think. Maybe we can find tricks or something? Maybe I have to just dash across it. That probably makes sense actually. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay, there we go. We figured it out. I took, I wasted a lot of health not knowing how to do that. Okay, and then, oh, that's just the exit that I can take, but let's try to, let's see if we can, how do I like go up and over? Can I just like, oh, maybe I can like, okay. Okay. All right, where else would these letters be? There's an L over here, okay. Fuck, I forgot how to, I don't know if I ever learned how to do that. Shoot, how would I do that? What do I do? Um, maybe I can look at my trick list again. Grabs, maybe? No. No. Special? Mm. 
Yeah, how do I wall run my way over? I did it once by accident. I have hell. I got it. Okay, it was triangle. Okay. Almost. There's the K. In the most stylish gameplay, but it's getting the job done. Now I need to, like, get more height. Okay. Where's the S? Where's the S? Ooh. Maybe it's, like, hiding somewhere over here. Okay, hold on. I don't want to mess up. There's the 8. Okay. What's up with these birds, too? Do we know? Did I kill them? Whoop! I did. I don't know what that did, though. Where is the S? So I'll go for the eight last. The eight seems really hard to get. Okay, let's see. Ah, the Raven cams. Okay, there's the S. It's like really high up. Oh, that could have been bad. Oh. Maybe we can jump and then like wall grind it out. Okay, good, good enough. We got, got it done. All right, let's see. Where's the... Now this is going to be a little tough. Fuck. Oh! Oh! I just don't want to die. Fucking bitch. Okay. Wow. Huh. What should I have done differently in that? Fuck. I think it is best to go around that other side to get this. Okay, so we're gonna hold down X and then... Damn. You know, we might as well go for it because this is just a game, so... What am I doing wrong about that? Can I heal? Is there like a heal button? Uh, there might not be. Oof. I feel like I just need more air. Damn. Alright, let's just... I don't know how to crouch, though. I don't know. I just picked some of them. Can I regain my health from here? For challenge vaults, enter challenge vaults for optional skating challenges. Okay. Press L1 to dodge. You are briefly vulnerable for dodging. Okay. Okay. How do I crouch? Do you think? With the stick? No. That's not right. I think I'm moving like so slow. That's like a me thing though. Okay. Um Yeah, I love a explosion. 
Love a corpse explosion. Oh, died immediately coming out of the vault. Yeah, this ain't it. Not for me, at least. Um, well, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. Let's at least get some of that energy back. Do I get to keep my stuff? What did you do out there? Nothing. Just you fought monsters. What's going on? Um, did you notice the hellscape rearranged as soon as you went out there? You think that's my fault? I think you did something to make. Why does he care what I do? You're not nobody. You're Anton freaking Falcon. You're the best skater I've seen in a long time. Oh, and you can fight the monsters now. I, I, I gotta go charge my drones. Yeah. It's fine. Like, yeah, yeah this is not. I don't know. It's not like terrible or anything. It's just like fine. Like, it's. Yeah. It's a really cool idea that was done in a way that I find fairly unremarkable. Um, yeah. Nah. Um, cool. Well, this was honestly, like, I feel like one of the weaker sessions I've had for, like, this series in this year, at least. Which, the year's early, but... Um, let me see what the... What do we got here? We just quick game. Is that it? Yeah, that was that was Hellskate. Um, not a lot to say on this one. Again, it's not like it's terrible or anything like that. It's just like, all right, like here we are. Um, let's see. I guess that. I mean, that kind of just about does it. I wish I had banishers now because I feel like I went through these games faster than I thought I would. I just didn't really find any. I mean, again, this fang I really liked, which I kind of already knew I liked it. But I feel like we also have seen what we need to see from this fang in terms of understanding the general conceit. Um, I want to shout out um, another game that I want to play, but I'm going to do off stream. I think it's called. Oh, hold on. Sorry. <coughs> shovel uh it's a little what is it it's a little um like a little platformer with like a little little cute puzzle platformer i don't know if it's gonna be good or not but it has like retro vibes we'll see how it goes um yeah i should buy that now actually while i still have it on top of mind but and then skull and bones i honestly would give it a shot because there's like this this finish kind of earlier even though i wanted to fish early in general but I think it'll take too long to like get into that game. Um, so yeah, kind of a I don't know. It's uh I don't mean to be down about it, but it's kind of like it's hard to like it's like it's like negative tones, negative vibes to end. Um, yeah, Hellskate again. It's in early access, so if you are you know really excited by it, they're out, they're like working on the game actively. So I don't necessarily think that it's all over for hellscape but i just feel like the core feeling like i can't imagine them i struggle to imagine them tightening and tightening that up in a significant way and that's kind of like my main beef with the game um maybe maybe they will i don't know i think i'm just gonna keep my ear out and see what the energy is around um Um, around it and just see. Also, this other game is free to play. 4.3 stars on the App Store right now. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. Again, a little bit of a drab ending, but it's like, woohoo. Like, I don't know. I didn't like a lot of these games. Like, that is what it is. Uh, but that's kind of, you know, that's part of what we do here. We're out here checking things out and seeing what it's like. And sometimes you are pleasantly surprised. Sometimes you're a little disappointed. That just kind of is the name of the game for uh, Best of Watch. But hopefully y'all uh, had some fun checking things out, got some insights into games you hadn't um, heard of before or that you were curious about. Again, let me know in the chat what y'all will be getting into this weekend. Um, and yeah, uh, again, another game that came out that we didn't get to was Banisher's Ghost of New Eden. But I think I'm going to keep that very, like, in the in the fringes of things i hear it's like kind of just generally just fine but honestly so i was on the easy allies podcast that they just recorded it'll be live for the public on sunday live for patreon i think now 
question mark um or saturday or something it's either up now or saturday but um michael huber over at easy allies was really into banisher's ghost of new eden and the way he talked about it kind of got me interested in it again even though i had just came off of a conversation with the remap crew that got me like oh confirmed not to play it and then i'm kind of like ooh, but like it sounds kind of cool i don't know so again with such a busy time We'll keep it in our in our thoughts <laughs> as moving forward in the year. Uh, but that's what's going on this week uh, for what has come out recently. Uh, there's another game I'm curious about called Recolit. Recoilit. Um, that's like a little indie title that seems kind of interesting. We'll see how things go with that. Uh, we'll keep my eye out. Maybe I can swing back to some of these. It was really fun swinging back to uh, Chronologist. Uh, thanks for the follow. It was really nice swinging back to Little Guardsman after weeks later. So, you know, never say never. Uh, Best of Watch can't have older games besides games that just come out in the week. Um, next week, we have a lot of big releases. We have um, Open Roads on February 22nd is basically the hot hot day in the streets i don't know if there's any other titles out that week but we have open roads which is from the um it's like the hold on let me get the fulbright right yeah fulbright studios um title uh we have pacific drive we have garden life a cozy simulator and we have uncle naughty all coming out on the same day uncle naughty we played before on the channel last year when it was in early access cool game probably won't end up spending time with that one uh we'll probably most likely on that friday hit up pacific drive hit up open roads i think those are kind of the biggest contenders um yeah because the garden game i i don't know about that one let me look it up let me look it up what the energy is off that game Ooh, it does look nice i don't know let's take a quick a quick glance into the future briefly um let me actually pull up a couple let me just show you guys this game specifically because it's the one that I'm like, oh, I wonder, you know what? Like, I don't know. Is it just me or does this game look like really good though? We want to honor their memory. That's why we're looking for someone new to take the reins and bring some life back to this community garden. Everyone is super excited to meet you. I don't know. It looks kind of good, right? Like, I mean, this is why I put it on my list. Like, I feel like the... Like, the fidelity of it. Obviously, it's not... I, I, oh, my God. Look. Little frog. Look at how beautiful that garden is. Uh, hello? Oh, hi. Oh, you can hear me. There's a cat? Like, I don't know. I, we might have to play this game next week. I'll be honest. Um, we all try to put a code request in for this. This is your garden now. But I would really appreciate it if you could finish the list for me. I mean, that seems like pretty good. You wanna put up a store it's so bespoke, know. like, I don't know. I think I can arrange that. Uh, thanks for the jasmine. I think this is going to be a good batch. Congrats on clearing away all that rubble. The garden looks much, much bigger now. As you can see, I spoke to my locksmith friend. The greenhouse is yours to do with what you will. Now. Like that looks pretty good. Like look at how the systems so, are. This is the pavilion. We thought it might be linked nice together. To people in the village who we really care about. All of these We're working on the summer festival. <laughs> I mean. I feel like this is shooting up the list quite quickly. Look at that! Look at this! Holy shit, look at this fucking, these fucking floral arrangements. Are you serious? I mean... I mean, I feel like we're gonna have to play that. You know what I mean? Like, look, like, that was really good. That looked really good. It looked good. It looked wholesome. So, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe three games next week. Um, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm most interested from that list in Open Roads. I feel like that has some good potential, but I don't know. I also get season vibes from it and season to connect with me. We'll see what ends up happening. Um, but let me check my personal calendar. I think we're basically good for next week. We'll have, um, yeah, I think it seems fine to me. We'll have a Let's Play on Tuesday um, with uh, Persona. I think that should be good. There's some work stuff that I'm kind of still like, oh, maybe I can wrap up this these different projects I have. I don't think I'm going to wrap these projects up. So I think we'll just keep going with a regular schedule, uh, which would be Persona on Tuesdays at 3 p.m. and then Best of on Fridays at 3 p.m. as usual. Um, and then little shout outs in the chat. We got the YouTube for the VODs. We got the Patreon for the early access and insights into schedules and all that stuff. Let me go ahead and take a glance, take a gander at who I want to send a raid off to. Ooh, you know what? It would be fun to, uh, I think, probably raid Easy Allies. They, they're playing Skull and Bones. Um, yeah, Michael Huber's out there streaming Skull and Bones. This will be good because I didn't play Skull and Bones, so you'll still get, like, imagine, pretend this is me, you know? And then, boom, we're adding this. We're officially adding Skull and Bones to the best of 2024 watch via Michael Huber, so stay tuned for that. Send some loves. Drop some follows. Um, but before we go and do that raid, I do want to, of course, give a shout out to all y'all viewing, following, subbing, moderating, and of course, my sponsors over on Patreon. You too can join over on patreon.com slash gameosis with the rewards as low as a dollar all the way up to the $25 tier. Like my sponsors, I'm talking about folks like Nina McKee, Adam Garcia, Kevin Fair, Patrick Schwiegert, our pals, platform fanatic, play it, Jason, Randleton, Spencer Cassiano, and none other than Biscuits with Davey. Thank you for helping me do what I do when I do what I do. <laughs> 